Hi everybody, I'm Nellene and I would like to welcome you to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a strawberry pecan salad. and Very refreshing, very good. I think that you will like it. I love strawberries and pecans. Okay, so the ingredients that we need today are I have a spring mix salad. So it's like a baby lettuce, baby greens, rad radish yield. Or spinach. I like spinach in it for sure. So if you don't have the spring mix you can have some uh, some spinach or something. I am adding some romaine to mine and I'm going to add just a little bit of my head lettuce. Just a little bit. And then I have some feta cheese and some strawberries. You only need a few and I'm only making two small salads right now. And then I have one onion, I have some cranberries, I'm sorry, uh, dried cranberries, and then I also have some pecans. Now these pecans I will need to roast so I can show y'all and uh, I like to give out little hints and secrets and kind of teach some people a few things here and there. So. That's just one thing I'll be able to show people today, too. So, this is a very easy salad and uh, delicious, refreshing. I love it. The salad dressing that I'm going to be using today is a strawberry balsamic vinaigrette dressing. It's just what I'm choosing. If you have some kind of strawberry uh, salad dressing on it, it really is good with it. Now, I have a strawberry... Um, vinaigrette, I think that's what it is, uh, recipe that I will be putting out and uh, I wasn't going to make it today but I'm going to make it sometime and I'll put it out. Y'all are welcome to look at it, see if you'd like to put it, make it with this salad. It would be wonderful and uh, I just didn't have my ingredients for it right now and I have this, this and I'll do it for today. <laughs> so anyway, to make it quick and easy. But do check out uh, my salad dressings. I have out um, I have out a seizure one right now, and I will be putting out my strawberry one, and uh, a French one, and a Rouquet, um Can't think of it. Um, let's see what else. French a ranch. Um, and. Uh, olive oil one I think I have. Anyway, I, I plan to put out all my salad dressings and I hope that you guys check them out and uh, yeah, I hope you like them. So, let's get busy on our salad. It's going to be great. Now, I do have to start with my, my pecans that I said I was going to roast. All I need is my skillet and I put, I just put these right in it. Now I can do it in the oven on, uh, I think it's 200 degrees for about five minutes, three to five minutes. But I'm just going to put them on, toast them on top of the stove right now so y'all can see. And I need about maybe a, maybe a fourth a cup right now. And that's not, I mean you can use more or less, whatever you want. I, I'm just measuring for you guys. About all I have. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a lot actually for two small salads. So I'm gonna put this stuff away from my burner a little bit and go ahead and turn this on. I'm gonna turn it on medium heat. Yeah, that'd be about good for two salads. Yeah, I think that'd be alright. So, yeah, it's just two small salads. Anyway, and that is going to toast in the pan for about three minutes anyway. I might do it to five. So about three to five minutes on medium low. Um, right now I've got it on medium. Yeah, medium would be alright. I might turn it down a little bit. So anyway, let's get going on our ingredients. Let's see. 
those out of the way. We're going to start with our spring mix. When it comes to strawberries, a strawberry salad, spinach is really good. The spring mix or spinach and romaine, they're really good with strawberries and fruit. So fruit for, for a fruit salad. So what I'm going to do is, these came from the store, so I like to rinse them off. So I will do a slight rinse with these in a moment. Okay, this is just a small bag, so it's really about half of it. This is a, um, it's just a five ounce bag. But it really, any lettuce, any lettuce will be fine. But, uh, so I have this. I'll rinse it off in just a moment. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut up my onion in a moment. And I have my, my head lettuce. Let me cut just a little bit of this. If you just slice it, you can actually kind of shred it. I've already washed my, washed my lettuce off here. I'm just going to cut a little bit of this off. Not a whole lot. I think that's about it. Okay. So this is all the lettuce, the head lettuce I'm going to use. It's just a little bitty bit. And it's really... Head lettuce is actually a filler lettuce. You really don't get a lot of vitamins from it. It's, it's really a filler. But I mix it with a lot of different salads so that we will get our uh, vitamins. Now your romaine lettuce, your romaine and your, um, your spring mix salads, all the greens and kale, you get a lot of vitamins. Uh, kale is, has a lot of protein in it. So kale is the one of the very best you can get. That and spinach. But the spring mix and the um, romaine are very healthy for you as well. Your vitamins and, and protein. But your, your spinach, spinach, spinach is wonderful. It, the more green your greens have, uh, beet greens, any of them, those are really good. Let me turn this down. Stir it up a little bit. Like I said, about 35 minutes. But um, your, your spinach and your kale and your beet greens and uh, mushroom, mustard greens, any of those are really good. Now mustard greens are very, have a more of a bitter taste. Uh, so you would only want to put a little bit of mustard greens stuff like that in your salad but kale and spinach and romaine and all these these are wonderful you get a lot of vitamins and uh, like I said a lot of vitamins and a, a lot of um, protein especially in the kale and spinach so I'm going to uh, I'll still rinse this up I'm going to cut just a little bit of my of my uh, romaine lettuce up. Actually, I'm only going to use a few of these leaves because I do have a good amount of my spring mix. So I'm going to rinse these all off and this little bit of lettuce, I'm going to rinse it off. I always rinse all my salads off because they came from the store. If you get them from your garden, you're still going to want to rinse them off. But you do want to try to dry them um, if you're going to eat them right then, then it's okay that it has a little bit of water in it. Most vegetables all have little bits of water in them. Now your salad, if you rinse it off and you still have a little bit of water in them, it's okay. You don't want them to be too wet, but it's okay as long as you're going to eat it immediately. If you're not going to eat it immediately, don't rinse it off yet because it'll make it mushy. Okay, so let me get these rinsed off and I'll be right back. And I believe our pecans are done. I'll go ahead and turn that off. And I'll go ahead and take that off the burner. And I'm going to rinse off my lettuces. Okay, 
y'all. So my onion, I took the, I cut off each end and took the skin off and I rinsed it off, dried it a little bit. So I just sliced my onions. if you like onions. If you don't like onions, don't put them in it. You know, you don't have to. Now, I just did these in a way to where they're round and I just pop them out like that. Just like that. Whoops. And I'm going to keep them together right now until I get ready to put them on my salad. That way it's easier. And that's all I need because I only have two salads. And I have my strawberries and I have a couple of them that I have cut up. Just take the, uh, the little green part out, you know, the leaves. I'm going to rinse them off, and then I'm going to slice them up. Now, stores will sell a, um, there's a, a strawberry core that you can peel it out instead of getting it out with a knife and uh, it's a wonderful little tool. I've used it in the past. I used to have one. I don't know where it is now but they're called a tomato core or a strawberry core and they're wonderful especially if you have a whole lot of strawberries to do. But I'm only doing a few today and I'm going to rinse these off and then I'm going to slice them up so I'll be right back. stock my head lettuce and my romaine and I just let it sit in the bowl and every once in a while I'll come over and drain it out that really does help if you don't have a, um, a salad spinner that's the best thing to do so that's what I do it really does help I'll move the lettuce around and stuff and then just kind of hold it because if it sits here on the counter all the water goes to the bottom of your bowl and that really does help. It really does help. But most people don't have a salad spinner, including me. Not yet. <laughs> okay. Now, I've done that a couple of times, and it really does help the help get the water out. Now, when you do rinse, yes, your your lettuce sinks down. It doesn't look like as much as as uh, as it did before, but I got most of the water out. And if you want to get more water out, just take your Scott towel and kind of dab at it. Just kind of dry your lettuce a little bit. I hope y'all can see. And uh, move your lettuce around. Dry it with that Scott towel. You'll get a lot more water off. And it does help. It does help. But like I say, if you're fixing to eat it right now, then it's okay to have a little bit of water in it, you know. And the same thing with this. And you can lay it out on something or even on a clean towel. And then just fold your towel over it and kind of dry it that way. So, there's a few different little ways you can do it. But... If you still have some water in it, it's okay. So I just thought I'd show you all that. But yeah, I got most all that water out. So now we'll start putting it together. Alrighty. I have two small little plates here. So I'm just going to start. What I do is I put the, uh, the other, the head lettuce down first. You know, because it's not as pretty. <laughs> and I'm sorry to tell you, but it really doesn't have a lot of vitamins. So, it's really good to add the good lettuce, the healthy lettuce, to it too. And if you tear your lettuce, especially the head lettuce, if you tear it, like if like what I tore off of the, um, off the head, uh, it doesn't bruise the lettuce so much and then 
that head of lettuce that I put back in the fridge, it won't have the brown spots on it. Like if you cut it, it ends up having brown on it. I'm sure most of y'all know what I'm talking about. It gets little brown spots on it. But if you tear it, it doesn't do that. Not as bad. If you cut it, it does. I mean, it's obviously going to get a little brown after a few days or something, but it keeps it, uh, it doesn't change as fast if you just tear it. And that really goes for any kind of lettuce, but especially the head lettuce. And just tear it into some pieces, whatever sizes you want. Same thing with the um, other lettuce. Okay, a little bit more. I use the uh, head lettuce a lot for other things like uh, tacos and and uh, wraps. I like I like I put the I put the um, romaine on wraps too. Anything I've got really. Okay, so let me put a little. I'm gonna slice up the romaine. I just hold it all together and actually I'm going to cut it down the middle because it's just holding together pretty good. I like to kind of get smaller bites, not huge bites. Romaine is wonderful to work with too. The strawberry for my knife. Okay, so then I'll just split it. So we both get a little bit of romaine. Now this here, most of it I just kind of tear and put on on top of it. And I think you guys can see. I just put it on top because it's prettier. Now, that could actually be done with some bigger plates, I believe. But this is what I'm doing. Strawberries and spinach are really good together. They have a really good salad. I'm tearing mine up a little bit because some of the big the Spinach leaves are kind of big, and uh, some people like a big, big bite, I guess. <laughs> so that's up to you. So I've actually got enough to do another salad, I suppose. But uh, this was this was good. And you make your salads of course as big as you want. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place my onions on there. Like I said, if you don't like onions, don't put them on your salad. It's totally up to you. You can use the red onions. They're real pretty. But I am putting the cranberries and the uh, strawberries on here, so that'll be enough red. That's why I didn't use the, uh, the red onions today. Okay. Kind of a lot of onion. We like onion though. So if you don't like onions, remember, just you don't have to have them. <laughs> you don't have to have them. You gotta make your salad the way you like it. Oh yeah. Okay, so I've got our salads here. I have some uh, feta cheese. Fork will do. 
sometimes your feta is kind of in some big pieces. I don't want them too big, so I'm just going to kind of chunk it up. If you've never seen feta, it's chunky. It's, it's, um, you can get some big, some big chunks, or you can get little bitty pieces. So, they got, I've got a few big ones in here. So, and then there's smaller ones in the bottom. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just kind of cutting it up, chopping it up a little bit with my fork. And I'm just going to kind of try to layer it in here a little bit. It might actually be easier to use my hands. I'm just chopping it up with my fork, like that. I just don't want big, big pieces, big, big bites. I really enjoy having feta cheese in this salad. Feta cheese has a, it's a different kind of taste. It's, it's really good. Put up a little bit more here. It's just big pieces. <laughs> this container just happened to have some big pieces. Okay. Just kind of spoon it on. A spoon, fork, whatever. Whatever way works for you. So this kind of cheese you you can actually use, use your fingers and kind of break up if you want to. It's a good idea when you're making salads to always have your hands, you know, wash your hands a lot. Especially if you're going to do this. But yeah, it's really, really good. pretty good. Not done yet. We're going to put our, our cranberries on there. Now these are dried cranberries. These, were, these happen to be kind of soft. I mean they're soft and chewy. The ones I have, and uh, I really, really, I like them. They are good. They are so good. So I'm just putting a little, whoops, a little handful of my cranberries. Dried cranberries. So good. Put as much as you want on yours. I like my cranberries to be softer. These are not real hard and I really like that. Now one thing you can do if you have dried cranberries, another little secret here, a hint. <laughs> if you have some raisins or dried cranberries and you want them to be softer, put them Put a half a cup of hot water on the stove and put some raisins in it. And take it, uh, get the water hot, then put the raisins in it, take it off the burner. It's off, put the lid on it. So you, you have your cranberries sitting in that hot water and just let it sit with the lid on it, not on the burner cooking or anything. It's just in that hot water and it's soaking up that liquid. Dump that water out. Then immediately just let them sit there for a few minutes. And they will be softer. They will be softer. I do that.
that for a lot of my uh, dessert recipes. And but these these happen to be soft, and I like that. So looking good, y'all. Looking good. Gotta put our strawberries on there. Gotta put our strawberries on there. Oh yeah. Strawberries. Cut your strawberries whatever way you want. Whoops, fell off. You only need a few strawberries really for this, but so good. that you guys try this. I really do. I have some different little pieces and, and some bigger ones. And it doesn't matter because they're going to get eaten and they're going to they're be great. They will be great. Yum. You can take your time and make it as pretty as you want. Strawberries sure are a pretty, pretty, pretty red color. They're beautiful. I love getting strawberries this time of year. Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Just kind of <laughs> place them on where you want them. I don't think I need that one. Well, I'll go ahead and slice it up. so good so good and healthy you got your fruit oh my <laughs> yum 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 okay now we're going to put our pecans on this these pretty salads. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Strawberry. And we're fixing to put the pecan on it now. We have our, our uh, the cheese and the raise and our cranberries and strawberries and onion and this is good y'all. Good and healthy. This is oh this is wonderful. Let's put the raisin on the pecans on it. Okay, my pecans have cooled off. Ooh -wee. Yum! Oh, 
this is good. This is healthy too. This is wonderful. Yum. Yum. They tried to fall wherever they wanted. But that's okay, right? Gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Yummy. Like that. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> Yum. I made this. And you can make it. You go home and make you some. It's wonderful. It's going to be wonderful. Look how pretty that is. Oh, just looking at it makes you hungry. And it's healthy. It's good. It's, it's refreshing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some dressing on this in a minute. Now I do get a strawberry balsamic vinaigrette dressing for myself but like I said I will be putting uh, a strawberry I think it's a strawberry vinaigrette the strawberry uh, salad dressing uh, on YouTube soon on my channel and uh, several other different ones I know uh, One of them, I can't think of them. pronounce it. Burgoyne or something. I don't know. It, roguette. Roquette. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to put French and ranch. I've Italian. I've got my strawberry one. I've got an olive oil uh, one. And just several salad dressings. I have my Caesar salad dressing out there. And everybody seems to like it. And uh, so I'm trying to put out several different salads as well for y'all. Uh, different a good variety. I hope y'all like them. So, I'm going to bring my camera over here for just a moment and then I'm going to dig into this. Oh, yes! Yeah! Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this looks so good. I'm so happy. I get to dig in, don't I? Let me say a prayer. Father in heaven, I want to thank you for helping me make another good dish. Thank you for being with me, me and my family and, and around all of our friends and viewers and all our loved ones. Father, thank you for blessing us all and taking good care of us. Thank you for your love and thank you for your son, Father. Father, we ask you to bless this food and help it to nourish our bodies for myself and anyone else that makes it. Father, thank you. Thank you for everything you do for us. Thank you for your guidance. And we ask you, Father, help us to stay in your world for our lives. Bless us. Give us favor. Keep us safe. Thank you, Father. Help us to be the kind of people you want us to be. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. All right, y'all. Yum, yum, yum. I need to dig in. I'm going to put some dressing on this now. Mm-mm, mm -hmm. y'all. Yeah. This is going to be so good. Look at that. You see the strawberries and the onions and, and the cranberries. I'm going to put the cheese on it. And, uh, and then we put the pecans. Pecans all over them. Aren't they beautiful? Yum. They're so pretty. I don't want to mess them up. <laughs> I'm going to put some dressing on it. Salad dressing. Yeah. Yum. Yum. Y'all, this looks so good. Ooh, wee, y'all. I like a lot of dressing. <laughs> Yummy. I'll let my husband put his on. Uh, put his on there. This is good, y'all. It's going to be so good. Woohoo! <laughs> Now, one thing I did want to tell everybody, the uh, pecans, not all pecans will have to be roasted. Now, these here I use for baking and stuff I buy. In the back, it tells me how it needs for snacking or for salads or something like that, that I need to roast them. It tells me that I need to, to roast them either in the oven or, or like I did in the pan 
for uh, three to five minutes. If you do it now and do it for about 252 temperature, 250 degrees, uh, for about three to five minutes. Otherwise, on top of the stove for three to five minutes. But uh, if your bag says yours are, are already roasted pecans, then you won't have to do what I did. So, but I just wanted to tell you all that. A lot of people don't even realize that. And it's, it's, uh, it's important. You need to, you need to know whether or not they need, they, whether or not they are roasted already. And, um, but they're wonderful in salads. And some people put them in brown sugar and stuff and then roast them. They're really good that way. Butter and brown sugar. I guess I should have done that. Hmm. I'll do that on another cell, another, uh, another recipe that I do for y'all. On another video. So anyway, uh, yeah, just another little hint I wanted to let y'all know about. That was important. And then, mm, 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 I get to dig in. <laughs> I'm, I'm so proud of this. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is this is good. This is good. Yum. A little bit of greens. Mmm. 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 I wish y'all could taste that. Mmm. Oh, man. I love salads. And I like having them different ways like this. I like to have them different ways. Because we have a lot of salads, and you don't always want it to taste the same. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, that's good. I like, I really like the, uh, the romaine and the mixed greens. They give that, that crunchy, crunchiness kind of to them. They're not soggy or nothing. And Oh, they're good. That strawberry is so refreshing. That's what I love about summer. Strawberries, fruit, fresh fruit. Love it. Love it. <laughs> mm. Pecan and cheese and the dressing. Mm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I sure do hope you guys try this. This is really good like this. Your strawberries, pecans, this feta cheese, your cranberries, and fresh greens. Mm-hmm. But really, if you do the fresh greens, you it, try it. Try it with the spinach and the and the mixed um mixed, I forgot what that bag said. Spring spring mix. But anyway, have you some spinach in there? It's good. It's very good. It's good for you. And a little bit of romaine. Oh, it's just good like that. You can have just romaine if you like. Or you can have just spinach. I've had a lot, a lot like that. I like that. I love spinach. But not everybody likes spinach. So if you don't like spinach, try the romaine. Or the spring mix. <laughs> They'll have a little bit of everything in it. Trying to get that up. There we go. Mmm. Mmm. Got all kinds of goodies in there. Strawberry. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I got some good chewy stuff there. With the pecans and the cranberries and mmm, oh, that's refreshing. You guys are gonna love that. I, I really do think that you will. I hope that you do. I hope that you give me a thumbs up, leave me a good comment, tell me how you liked yours, tell me how you tried it, tell me if you did something different. I hope you did it just like this. It's really good this way. I mean, it is. It's good, and uh, you can have all them flavors. I'm serious. Blended together like this is absolutely wonderful. I think that you'll love it. So, subscribe to my channel. And then you'll get um, um, notification every time I put something new out. I am putting out something new every week. I'm going to try to do several things a week. I'm putting out all kinds of new stuff. Casseroles, soups, salads, um, main dishes, side dishes, 
desserts. Um, I'm going to start putting out some shakes. Um, just talk, everything you can think of. I, I really enjoy making all the different foods and, and appetizers and, and salads. Oh my, this, this is so good. I love sharing these things with you guys. I'm really enjoying this. And I really hope that you guys like it. I want to thank you for watching all the way through. Uh, some of my videos are a little bit long. I hope this one wasn't too long. <laughs> but anyway, I really hope that you guys like it. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, subscribe to my channel so you, you'll you get uh, notifications. And uh, I don't want you to miss anything. So yeah, thank you for watching. I truly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, try it. As always, bye.